Hello, um, I'm Jamie, and if you haven't seen my T-shirt, I'm a big fan of my URLs, so please go and visit them. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about dependency management data. So this is something that I've been working on for, well, most of this year. Yeah, cool. Um, so have you ever wondered things like, how much end-of-life software am I using? What packages, internal or otherwise, are we using that we probably shouldn't be? Maybe it's competitors. Um, and how far behind on updates are you? Well, by the end of this talk, you'll be able to quantify that. So last year, it was Hacktoberfest. I joined Deliveroo, and I was trying to drum up support for other people to contribute, because I'm a big fan of the event. And a lot of people are asking, like, what should I contribute to? So Deliveroo is quite a data-driven organization. So I took the opportunity to get some data together. And I looked at our dependency trees, and I found our most used direct and indirect dependencies. And given this data, we were able to find some good projects to contribute to. Now, we'd recently rolled out GitHub Advanced Security and got the Dependable APIs. So this was really handy to be able to go through that data and understand, at least for the ecosystems that it supports. And this data wasn't really just like a one-trick pony. We were able to use this for other things. So for instance, in January, we had a required Datadog SDK update. And we're able to see all of the teams that were affected by this change in a really straightforward way that we didn't have any visibility of otherwise. As part of recently rolling out um, Renovate across the org, we found that we actually had a lot better data in Renovate than GitHub. And through this, we we're able to start targeting some more interesting information. So for instance, there's a tool called endoflife.date, and you can go in there and you can look up when is the end of life of the Ruby um, version that I'm using. And with the data from Renovate, we could actually action this much more effectively. And I was trying to think, this is really useful, so I want to spin it out as its own open source project. Um, and since about, I think really about January, um, I've been working on this evenings, weekends, and a little bit during work. And so this is, um, by and large, a command line tool that you take all the data and it spits out an SQL -like database that you can then use with whatever tooling you want. You can green the data. And it also has a web application to make it easier to share with people. There are different data sources that we'll talk about in a second that you can ingest. It builds that SQLite -like database. You can then enhance that data with other things called advisories um, or other means. And there are common queries that um, are called reports. Now within this, um, as I mentioned, there's Renovate. You don't have to be using Renovate. It uses the underlying package understanding it has. Um, you can also use Dependabot, Software Bill of Materials, or there's a load of AWS infrastructure that it also supports. This feeds into the advisory, so you can look at like what end-of-life software am I using, and why haven't we patched it. You can work out what CVEs you're affected by that other tools can do. But you can also work out like why am, why am I using packages that I shouldn't be. So for instance, here we can see through a load of open source, we've got projects that are depending on deprecated or unsupported versions of things. We've got libraries using forks that are many months out of date. You can look at things like um, how many packages do we actually use like as a whole. Um, so for instance, based on the data in the Kubernetes repo. Um, we can also... Um, so for instance, the CNCF recently did an audit of all their libraries that depend on HashiCorp libraries. You can write a fairly simple query and just get that information um, just like that. You can also add your own ownership information. So it's really handy to be able to say, why is there a team running Node 5 in production and who do I need to talk to to get that fixed? Um, not a true story. Um, then, depending on which data sources you use, so for instance, if you're using Renovate, you can also look up like how many updates do I have to do. You can break that down by team. You can see, like, oh god, I have 551 major versions of Node updates to do. That is horrible. This is all based on um, open um, source projects on GitHub and GitLab. There's a repo that I'm just throwing stuff into it um, to try and get more data to make it more useful, as an example. Um, but it's also used in a few other places. And here's a load of links to follow and play around with. And yeah, please come and chat to me about it. Thank you.